hi guys on this video i'll be showing you guys how to blur your video background with InShot. i'll be teaching you guys how i turn this background from this to this many people believe that you can only do this with premiere pro or CapCut, but on this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it with InShot. so if you want to find out why this video from beginning to the end i'll be taking you guys to the other side of the screen where i'll be teaching you guys how to do it from scratch so join me on the other side of the screen so guys welcome to this side of the screen Okay, let's proceed. Firstly, let's go to InShot. So once you enter InShot, this is the first phase, you know. So then we go to video, then click on new. Then select the video we want to blow. So here is the video. So the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to click on filter. Once you click on filter, then you go to effect, you know. So, in effect, you see there are many effects here. So, you are going to scroll, scroll, scroll till you get to style. So, here is style. Then, scroll again here and look for blur. So Hi, guys. Blur. On this video, I'll be showing you guys how to... Hold on, I want to, hold on, I want to go back and uh, mute this video's volume so that it won't disturb this video that I'm making right now. To blow your video. Uh, I've muted the volume, so we are not showing anything, we are not using the volume for anything for now, so let's go back to where, okay, so here is blow as you can see the video is blow now so what we are going to do is that we are going to click on this first angle to put it video beginning and we are going to click this side too to put it on end of video so that it will be everywhere understand from beginning to the end so the next thing you are going to do is that you are going to either you leave it this way depending on your choice or you reduce the blow well, me, I normally, I reduce the blur because I don't like it full like this. So, you, you come to this edit. So, here you can increase or reduce. So, if you reduce it, it will go back like this. You can, you can keep it anywhere you want it. But me, I normally keep mine like this. So, that it won't be much. So, you can actually see the background, but you know it's blur. So after you are done with the adjustment, just click OK. OK. So the next thing we are going to do right now is that we are going to come to this PIP right here. Click on PIP and come and select the same video. Understand? So here is the same video. Then the next thing you are going to do next is that you are going to click on this boss, this uh, uh, square right here so that it will zoom in so once you click on it you see it uh, the video has zoomed in and as you can see this video is not blur so how are we going to achieve this what we are going to do is that we are going to cut out only the person in the in the video understand so that the other background that is blur will now come out so what are we going to do next we are going to go to cut out see cut out here understand click on cut out you see that the the cut out has automatically cut me out of the the other background and here we are on the blur background so that's it as you can see you can see so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to blend me right now with the the blur background so we are going to go to effects so go to effect then click on adjustment but before you do this make sure that you are on pip you are not on the blur side you are on pip see i'm on pip so go back to effect go to adjustment so let's increase the the lightness i think the lightness is okay on 30 contrast let's put contrast on 20 i think 20 is okay then the one 
let's put it on on 20 as well i think 20 is okay so depend on how you want your own so i'm doing mine because i like the way i want it understand so depending on the on on the camera you're using depending on how they shot they shoot the thing depending on the background as well so i'm setting my own this way because like i want i want it to blend the way i want it so when you are color grading yours you can actually do it the way you want so tint i will i will add tint like 10 saturation i'll put saturation I don't like using much saturation, so I think I will just do it. It is okay. Then come to fade. Fade ten is okay for me. Normally, how I I do it. Then highlight. I put highlight to the end. Shadow ten is usually okay for me on shadow. Then this vignette i normally put it on 50 you know sharpen i put sharpen on 13 that's my thing then green i put it on 10 then film green put it on 10. so that's it as you can see the background is is okay and the color is okay don't mind all this thing that i shipped in is because i've not exported the video so i'm going to play the video again after i've exported the video so so guys the next thing you're going to do is that you are going to click on this uh, logo up here then select your resolution i normally put on 4k then click on save and it will automatically save guys so guys this is how to blow your background so i'll be showing you guys the video after i've exported the video guys so see you guys there so guys here is the before and after check it out welcome back guys thank you for watching this video from beginning to here and if you found this video helpful please like comment and share this video and if you're new on this channel kindly subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos thank you and remain blessed